Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for bringing us together again to learn at your feet new things that we never knew that pertain to heaven, O Lord, and to make us to take precaution concerning the impending anguish and the finance that is coming in anticipation. This heavenly heaven reminder, O Lord, is a peculiar thing that you are assisting us to be reminded before we go to our work places, before we move out, before we relate. O Lord, please help us, assist our soul to always constantly be put in remembrance of your coming back today. Speak to us. Pray for us. How, many, how much prayer can we offer that is enough than when you pray for us? Your prayer assisted Peter. He was saved from the water of life and circumstance of life and eventually he was saved from hellfire. The same thing, Lord Father, with many of them. O oh Lord, we pray for the grace to be retrieved from the dark world, from the blackness of the world, so that we live a life that pleasing unto you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. You're welcome to uh, the Rich World Mission uh, Early Every Reminder on Wednesday by 6 a.m. That is uh, Eastern uh, Eastern part of the United States of America. The time there is 6 a.m. Let's go together to the Word of God. We are actually studying from Second Peter. We started a couple of uh, weeks ago. Now, we are looking at chapter 2, which we have started about uh, some weeks back to today. We want to actually look at verse 4. Please open your Bible. It is very important we look at it perfectly. Some of the words you see in the Bible, the first, the second, the last, they are very precious and important. The more you look at it and you actually take note, the more actually you get more understanding. Let's look at it together. Wherever you are, open your Bible. I prefer even the King James Version. That's what I love to read. And I like searching it and looking at it so that it can give me more interesting thing as the Holy Spirit convert it. It's like food. When you eat the food, the right food, is supplied the nitro nutrient and your body is right, you actually make it well and it gives you the light, the right nutrient and you are balanced in your weight, in your health, in everything. And you have the energy that is needed and you are com you are com you are composed to do whatever you need to do. So let's go to the word of God that can actually be applied to our life and give us nutrient that is right for every time, every day and for waiting for the coming of the Lord. So let's look at Second Peter chapter 2. I read verse 4. For if God spare not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and deliver them unto chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, the topic today is if sinful ages were punished. If sinful ages were punished, angels that sinned, if they were punished, how much more? Which other way? People that were created to assist as messenger, as carrier of the message direct from God. So today we are looking at three particular and peculiar points. One, the peculiarity of fortright angels, standardized angels angels that are still on the way or that are norm normally behaving. The number two, the precaution for or on the forthcoming uh, anguish. Number three, the permanent furnace, anticipation or anticipated, whatever you like. You look at it, we see it in Second Peter chapter 2 verse 4. Let's read again. For if God spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and deliver them unto chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. The first prayer point today is that God, don't let me be casted to hell. Father, don't reserve me for that blackness with chain. Oh Lord, Father, I, if, it, if there's judgment, how can I escape judgment? So today, point number one is the peculiarity of forthright angels, standardized right angels. Look at it in Hebrew. But before, as you are opening your Bible to the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 7, we saw some things that we can see in the angels, which almost everybody will agree with, they are sinless. They have direct contact with God. They can move from heaven to the earth, and they have the power to strengthen. 
are and they carry the message of God. Look at such people. And if those people that we are looking at we want to see their peculiarity, and as looking at it, qualification of heaven is holiness. Don't forget this. And sin will not enter heaven. And that is why it is very important that me and you check ourselves. Are we in Christ? There's no good work that can enter heaven. It is when you have Christ that you do that good thing in you. And the good thing that is done by Christ is acceptable in heaven. Not the one you use your physical, your knowledge. Everybody prays you, you are good, you are right. You can never be good. Jesus said no man is good. Because the goodness actually is embedded in the blood that shed on the cross of Calvary. And that enter into you and transform you and translate you and make you a new being. If any man be in Christ, a new creature. So you are newly created. That's what we call born again. Be born again, not of corruptible, but of incorruptible by the word of God, the word of life, the word that is Jesus, the word in the beginning, the word that changes people, the word that directs and um, actually change this fleshly, this earthly thing into spiritual thing that make you to behave in the likeness of God and you manifest the fruit of the spirit. So as we are looking at the peculiarity of fortright angels, why are we looking at it? Because if they can be this, we have seen they are sinless. The direct contact with God, they meet with God, we see that can stand before God and they, are, they can come as they are sending a message from heaven to earth, and they have the strengthening power. Now, let's look at it in Hebrew 1, verse 7. And to, of the angel he said, Who maketh his angel's spirit, and his minister flame of fire. Can you see? They are spirits. You can, you can see them. They are in the likeness of invisible. So they are spirits. Look at those people. They are those kind of things. Let's look at angels too. What was said concerning angels in the book of uh, let's go to uh, Second Samuel chapter 14 and verse 17. Look, the story, you can read it in that place before. Between uh, between Joab, between Absalom, between uh, and between uh, David and the woman from Tekoa. Let's look at verse 17. That we are concerned in speaking from that place. Then, then, the, then the handmaid said, The word of my God, the king, shall now be comfortable. For as an angel of God, is my lord the king to discern good and bad therefore the lord thy god be with thee hallelujah so he's comparing david to angel what do they do they can discern between good and bad so it's easy for them angel to make decision between bad and good so that's how they are that's who they are if those angels that have a peculiar character like that can be taken to head who are you answer me what kind of life are you living that you will not even think about it? Let's look at what some of the things that were said concerning these angels in Luke chapter 4. In the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 10, as it is written, He shall give his angel child over thee to keep thee. So, you see, God even in the book of Psalm, actually he said, angels will help us. Angels will be given charge to help us. They can assist, they can strengthen. And the Bible said they were strengthening with Jesus Christ. Well, after, you see, so angels were ministering unto him. So, it shows that the kind of work they are, that's why I'm, look, I'm looking at it today, that if such, such beings, such instrument the hand of God, such messenger of God, that is actually that have been big from the beginning. They have been sent here and there, sent to Abraham, sent to this, sent to ten messages here and there, and even sometimes they represent God in His in His self, in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If these people sin and they are casted away, let's go to our study again in Second Peter chapter two. That is why we need precaution for the forthright anguish, because if this angel can be casted into hell, how much more? If they can be reserved for judgment, you, death is coming. Said Jesus is has not come, but what hope? those who died in sin they go to hell. So you think about it because people say death come but once after this judgment. Where are you going to spend eternity? We are looking at the second point, the precaution for forth, forthcoming anguish. Look at verse 4. Second Peter 2 4. Open your Bible with me. Thank you. Thank you for opening. I'm waiting for you. Thank you. Yes. Learn to open the Bible, learn to study the Bible, learn to read the Bible because it's the word that actually a, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It's the one that actually brightens the darkness of the world as a child of God. We see more when we understand and read the Bible. Look at it in Second Peter 2, verse 4. For if God spared not the angel that sinned, but cast them down to hell and deliver them unto chains of darkness to be served unto judgment. If God did not spare them, a precaution 
for forthright, for forthcoming anguish. This is precaution. So if it's telling us, speaking to us, through his, the apostle in, Andra, in, in writing that penny that he used him to penny that because Peter was there. He saw Jesus, he saw all the all that happened, he saw everything. He had example of ministering angel, of our spirit of the Lord, and the example of Jesus Christ. He saw everything. If angel, they were not spared, they were punished. There's need for me and you to take precaution. Stop depending on yourself. Stop depending on your power. Stop thinking you are going to church. Stop thinking that you are doing it well. Come to it's better you realize. Somebody say, examine yourself if you are still in faith. It is opportunity. Examine yourself. Let's look at what the Bible even portrayed uh, for me and you in the book of Jude, chapter one, uh, chapter one, verse five. Of course, only one and uh, five to six. Only one uh, chapter. I read. Open your Bible. Thank you. Thank you. Follow me to Jude. From five to six, and I would therefore put you in remembrance. See, precaution, remembrance, being reminded, me and you. Though you once knew this, you have heard, you have knew about this. You even read it in the Bible that judgment is coming. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, you say He saved them, He brought them out, all of them none left because of the token of the blood upon the lintel. It's like salvation. You were saved. If you are not saved, your own is even different. That means you are an Egyptian and you are perishing in the ocean with them. But your own is still like we're taken out of Egypt. Salvation. They were saved. Today you will see your salvation. After what destroyed them that believe not, lack of faith. They didn't believe in Jesus. They, be they didn't believe in sinless life. They didn't believe that. Holiness is the one that will take us to heaven. They didn't believe that we can live in pureness and righteousness all the days of our life. They lack. They don't use faith. They use their flesh. They use their power. And the more they use faithlessness, the more they're going to sin. When we talk of holiness, they say, Are you the only one that is holy? Are the only one that is because there's no faith? God is calling you unto faith. He said they were destroyed. Uh, that, that believed not. Don't be destroyed because of lack of faith. He said, And the angels will kept not the first angel. Now remembering all. And their own habit and left their habitation where God put you. Have you left the place? He had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Hey, don't be reserved for hell. Don't have a name that you live or you are dead. Don't be a, a, a walking corpse. Don't be hell bound in hell. There's need for a change. Jesus is calling you. When they come, it might be late. Many have died like that, pernicious, and they are gone in. Some shouted and shouting, and they died. They say, hell, hell, and they died. They regret. When they were calling them like this, they didn't answer. Jesus is calling you. If angel that sin could be punished, how much more you think? Calm down. Don't be arrogant. Think of yourself. No sinner see God. The best is to repent and believe. Those who were saved from Egypt, they were buried, destroyed because of unbelief, because they did not have faith. Jesus is calling you. If you can believe, all things are possible. Thank you for thinking that today I can go to hell. Let's go to the last point as going to our study in, in Peter. Second Peter chapter 2 and in verse 4. The permanent finance anticipation. The permanent, there's a permanent place that we, of furnace, not the furnace of Nebuchadnezzar this time around. We are talking of furnace or Bessasa. We are talking of furnace that is permanent. And the God actually, no mercy at that time. You are trying to hell, you go to hell forever. Jesus is calling for because this is the time. Don't be afraid of hell. Come to Jesus and you escape from hell. I'm not making you to fear, fear God. Don't fear hell. But even if you fear God, you run away from hell, you escape opportunity. Look at that second Peter chapter 2, verse 4. For if God spare not the angel that sinned, but cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Let's look at Matthew chapter 5. Open your Bible. We are ready and we are ready to pray and we are praying because I do something. When the word of God is coming and He touch me, I pray immediately. I don't wait till that. I will still pray later, but I pray, God help my soul. Lord, hell, I don't belong to hell. No. Oh Lord, you said my chair. All those secret sins, you start to look at it and analyze and examine yourself and start to look at it. Where are you looking? Where are you doing it wrongly? Jesus is waiting for you to repent and He call you. He said, come unto me. Oh, you deliver I believe that Will give you rest. His hand is not heavy, no, his ear, his hand is not short, no, his ear heavy to ear, his ear are iniquity that separate no God. And that separate will be taken away because he blotted out the hand of righteousness. The wall of the wall of barricade between our God, he broke it away. Look at what the Bible says so that we won. We are won in the permanent of the permanency of the of the uh of the finance 41, 25, 41 Matthew. I read, then shall ye see. Also unto them, then shall he say unto them on the left hand, 
depart from me, you cause into everlasting fire, prepare for devil and his angels. So that the angel that fell, devil's angel. Don't spend eternity with devil. Don't spend eternity where devil is spending and the angel that kept not their false estate. Come to Jesus. Are you praying that God, I can't spend eternity with devil. I can't go to hell. No. Today, Jesus is calling you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much because you are touching us. You are helping us. You are changing our life. Heaven is our home. In Jesus' name we pray.